Can you answer this question? Is your Wi-Fi encrypted? Now, if you don't know, you need to watch this story. Right now, there are thieves after your money, your bank account information, passwords to your accounts, and the open door may just be your Wi-Fi. It's invisible, but thieves can see it. Your Wi-Fi creates a web of malicious opportunity. Well, this is a, a, a Yagi antenna, which gives me a little better range. With this antenna and hacker software, Trevor Hearn, or Skydog as he's called, is breaking into this Williamson County mom's Wi-Fi. Here's our target, Home BF uh, 32. He's a hacker by trade who with her permission is able to show how easy it really is. So we're basically uh, beating on the network over and over and over and it's generating a specific type of packet we're looking for to be able to crack the encryption. After about 10 minutes, the green light. There we go, cracked home, there it is. Once in, if Hearn was a criminal. Uh, I could collect information such as bank account information, child pornography, I could use it to attack somebody else. And there's no big warning light that goes off when this takes place. I was actually, you know, dumbfounded that he was able to get right in. Uh, the mere fact that you think that you have um, a layer of security on your um, computer. And you do, but some security encryption is just downright better than others. If you have WEP, you're a sitting duck. It's still in use all over the place. WPA is a little better, but the best is WPA2. I can reach out and touch you from a decent distance. I don't have to be at your house. I don't have to be in your driveway. Uh, I can be down the street in the neighborhood. I can be on top of the highest position around. Skydog took us atop Love Circle, overlooking downtown Nashville. So essentially, this is a 24 dB antenna. It's 2.4 gigahertz. With just a couple of hundred dollars worth of equipment, he easily pulled up enough potential targets to do untold financial damage. 500 networks isn't too bad for uh, 10 minutes of work. The software shows the easiest Wi-Fi networks to crack. The ones in green are either web encrypted or they have a high enough signal value that we could attack them easily. I can exfiltrate all of your data, uh, all of your pictures of your holiday, uh, uh, install a key logger and wait for you to type in your credit card number on Amazon or your bank account information. So what can you do to protect your network? First, if you're using WEP, stop. As a courtesy for letting him hack in, Skydog reconfigured this mom's security to WPA2. If you're using older equipment, you may have to get a new router altogether. Second, turn off WPS, a quick Wi-Fi setup system many of us use to make the process easier, which in turn makes it easier to hack. The key is to make some, some subtle changes to your network and how you do things and not be the lowest hanging fruit. Finally, use different complicated passwords for all of your accounts and change them often. Think of a very, very strong, robust passphrase. So think about, I worked as a security guard at Bloomingdale's in 1988. Take the first letter of each one. Add a symbol, a number, and don't use any dictionary words. Each account gets its own password. So if one is cracked, they're not all in jeopardy at once. Now that password you come up with should be at least 10 characters. The FBI says eight is really too short. And to be clear, Skydog only uses his skills to help companies and homeowners avoid attacks. If you aren't sure how to secure your network, you'll find directions in your router's manual, even hire a professional if you need to.